Good evening, everyone. Wow, that is a hot microphone, isn't it? Wow, that is super loud. Hold on. Wow, testing one, two. Whoa, my goodness. Test, 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 test. Testing one, two, testing. Wow, I am so sorry about that. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> no, no, no. I say thank you at the end. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my man over here at um, inside the YouTube verse. Um, fade, 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 fade. Huge shout out to uh, Cool Cam. All right, Cameron TV over there uh, doing the, the Roblox thing and doing legit videos of awesomeness and Twitter axes. Um, watch the entire thing. I've watched this guy's live stream a couple times. Go check him out. Uh, cool Cam TV. I will leave a link to his channel in the description down below. But I watched his video all the way to the end and it saddens me that he was unable to do the glitch, the wall glitch of awesomeness. Yes, I would like to buy this axe. Thank you very much. So, um, that's what I'm going to do tonight. Is I'm going to go back through the um, awesomeness of the Roblox glitch, the wall glitch. Um, this has been known for a while. Uh, I got a bunch of of hate from showing this the first time back in like 2014, I think. But I'm going to show it to you again. Rule number one, okay. If you have a R16 or an R15 rig, um, the body type, if it's an R16, R15 rig, you cannot do the wall glitch. It doesn't work. It, it only works with the R6, okay? What is an R6? R stands for rig, okay? In a 3D world like this, my character is called an R6. He has a head, a torso, two arms, and two legs. Six body parts. Okay, that is an R6. If you have the cool animation where his arms and joints have have uh, joints in his, his hands, that is an R15. Um, he has 15 parts. So, that right off the bat, if you have R15 or R16 or whatever it's called, it doesn't work. Okay, I want to make that perfectly clear. In every other game, it doesn't matter if it's the old school body, the new school body, the, the Roblox 2.0, it works. And here's why. The camera, when you switch from forward facing to backwards facing, like that, is slightly off center, which means uh, on the top of my head, my camera is back here, just a little bit behind my avatar. In fact, you can see that. Like, you can't see, I can go up as far as I want, my shirt, you can't see like the front of my shirt. When I turn around like this, you can't see the back of my shirt. So you know that the camera angle is slightly off center. I can't look directly down. This is why it works, okay? So when my avatar sticks his face into a corner, like a dish, like so. Actually, it would probably work better like this. So my face is inside a corner. When I try, to zoom in, oh, 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 hold on. Uh, that might not work. I think that's a solid piece all the way through. Hold on, corner. When I try to zoom in like this, boink, my avatar goes into the part. Now, if I'm pushing backwards at the same time that I go through that wall, it will push my body through to the opposite side. This only works with like uh, less than one by one walls um so well one by one walls this thickness right here is about one by one uh if not a little bit thicker so i should be able to do the same thing this way oh, oh come on come on oh, oh, oh. boom like that okay that's why it works so let's head on to the next uh lesson thick walls Okay, the same thing can be done as long as it's 90 degrees or more of an angle and you can stick your face directly in the center. This, uh, this takes a little bit more skills, but, oh, come on, oh. boom, oh, nope, still slightly off, slightly off, right, I'm gonna try it right 
there. Okay. Wish me luck. Uh, the other thing is, like, see how you can kind of see the, the camera start clipping whenever I'm up above myself like that? That is a good indication that, ooh, you can glitch through a wall. Or through a corner, I should say. And once you start getting good at it, um, I mean, the glitch, glitches just kind of fall into place. Uh, it is it is definitely an angle every single time. Zoom in, like that. And you can start getting into places that you're not supposed to get into. This is not hacking. This is not, um, this is not illegal. Because um, it is something that is built into the game. Now, you could consider it exploiting a bug. Hmm. I wouldn't call it that, though. It's something that's been around for as long as I've been playing Roblox. So, um, that is the first part, or that's the second part to um, how to glitch a wall. So, uh, the next theory of wall glitching, right here, you can do this on any acute angle. Okay, so for example, I have an acute angle right here, which means it's it's like it's pointing towards me. If it's facing outward like this, and okay, say I am my avatar. If the angle's like this, that's a no-go. You can't go through that kind of angle. If it angles like this, I'm a little heart, then you can go in through that angle. So it, it always has to be a point towards your avatar. Right here, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I can find the center, which is right about there. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I should, in theory, go in between. Now, because these are so thick, okay, most likely what's going to happen is my avatar is going to go into the center of this part that we're looking at. Uh, hold on, let me zoom out. This part that we're looking at, and it's not going to know to go all the way across. So it's going to go to the, the closest area of emptiness. So it's either going to go up or it's going to go down. If it works correctly. So, here we go. The theory of wall glitching. Boink! Come on. Whoa! Okay, I ended up on the opposite side. Amazing! <laughs> My avatar cannot exist in the same spot that another part exists. So, that, that's the theory. Okay, say you have a singular part that is not two parts. Please check your internet connection and try again. Reconnect? Oh no! Oh no! Hang tight! Oh no! Oh no, I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. I had my pink car out. Darn it! Alright, I'll be right back. There we go. All right, so we are back. Um, maybe. Hold on. Control F6. There we go. That works. Um, by the way, I am playing in a private server so I can demonstrate and uh, show you guys all the cool little tricks about the uh, wall glitching. So, last time we left off, um, last little break, we ended up over here on this side. As you can tell right here, these graphics are kind of glitching into each other. That means this is right here. One brick. Okay, I can get rid of the chat. And if we look here, this is one brick. And they intersect right at the corner. So, what do you do when you only have a singular piece that you can't seem to get around? So, um, I'm going to go up here to this corner because it's, it's higher as far as the part goes. Because this part goes through the bottom, alright? Um, when you're angled... Hold on. Get out of my way, tree deforestation for no reason. Boink. Okay, so when you're at an angle on a singular part, you're not going to go into the brick. It, it just doesn't happen. So what does happen is whichever angle you are bigger on, say I'm, I'm faced that way more or I'm faced that way more, that's the direction you will teleport until your avatar comes out of the brick. So for example, if I set my avatar like this, at an angle with his face in the middle he is more angled this direction so like take a 45 degree and like turn it this direction or or that direction okay i should end up either over here somewhere or somewhere down this wall okay the same thing is true if i turn the opposite way and i face that direction 
Okay, this is also all done on a PC. I don't know if you can do it on Xbox. Um, you should... No, you're not going to be able to do it on Xbox because your camera is locked in place. You would have to be able to move your avatar back and forth. Um, shift lock is another trick that a lot of people will use. I don't use it just because it's... Like you would look this direction then you hit the shift lock, which is the same thing as zooming in really fast. It's it's changing the angle of your camera. So, um, here, with PC, going that direction, I'm gonna try and put that line right in the middle. Do I see two parts here? Hold on. Or is that just a break in the texture? That, that could just be a break in the texture, who knows. Okay, so I'm gonna try and put the, the corner right in the center of my screen. All right, I'm going to glitch into the wall, but I'm going to shoot out that direction. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> so, there I am. I, I came all the way down here, kind of hit the ground a little bit and bounced, but that's how you get through um, opposite side walls. Hello, I got messages. So, I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to face that direction. Like this, and boom. There, instantly teleported like down there. Okay, so it works, and in theory, it should work on most things. Uh, I'm gonna pause it, and I'm gonna show you some hot spots where the wall glitch can be used. For this next little trick, we are going to go up to the top of the volcano and then drop down on a little side. So be sure to have your blueprint glitch ready to uh, flip your truck back over. Once you are to the top, like this, there is a little side right over on here that we want to get to. So, head this direction. Oh, nope, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, I almost, almost fell. <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> Anyhow, um, if you can make it, keep your, keep your car over here. I mean, you don't have to. Like, that's a good parking spot for me, but this angle right here, this is an acute angle. It's not obtuse. Acute, obtuse. Okay, Google. What's the difference between acute and obtuse angles? Here's a summary from study.com. There are four main types of angles, right angles, acute angles, obtuse angles, and... Oh. So what's it called when it's... Oh. There's only 180 degree angles. Okay. So... It doesn't matter if it's acute or obtuse as long as the 90 degree angle is facing away from you. So, you need to be on the negative side of the angle, okay? So like, if you start here, you're at zero degrees, uh, over here. If you start, no, if you start over here, you're at zero degrees, all right? This is 90 degrees, this is 180, okay? Once you get to this side, it's negative 180, negative 90, uh, zero, okay? And that's using, wait, that's using degrees. So radians, it would be like, this would be zero, 0.255, right? Or 1, 0.51. Never mind, we're not gonna get into radiance. Anyhow, right here, this angle is facing toward, or it's pointing towards us. We're on the negative side of the angle, and we should be able to slap our face against the wall, like that, and in we go. Nope, that did not work, hold on a second. All right, there we are, and in. Oof. Fine. In. Oh. Oh wait, is this thing? Yeah, that's that's the angle I need to go in at. Hold on. I promise I'm not clickbaiting. Okay. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. It will take some practice. In fact, I, I think this is like probably one of the hardest ones to do. Hold on, where's the angle? Oh, I zipped down the wall, didn't I? Nice. Come on. Okay, get on this side here. Let's let's look at it in first person. Then I should be able to go to the right just a little bit like that. Zoom out. Look at my face and zoom in. Oof. Oof. Well, I made it. Kind of. Ha ha ha. I'm in. Okay. So this is the back side of that angle. Okay? 
And in order to get back out, you're gonna have to do the the, uh, the like teleport thing down this side. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Can you see that very well? Hold on, let's go to uh, filters. Turn on some color correction. Okay, so right here, see how there's no good angle and this is a singular part. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to angle yourself like this to get back out that direction. Or if you head down the wall, there should be another spot to do this at. It's like really dark inside the, the volcano. This is this is the volcano glade, I guess. Discovered a while ago by the wiki. Okay, right here. This is the other place that you can get out. Um, you have to angle yourself that direction because that's the way that you want to teleport. And then when you zip into the wall, you'll zip out that direction, okay? Now, um, for the next part of this glitch, if you're wanting the green box, this has been done many a times, and it used to be done with two people. Um, you can do it with one now. You'll need an axe. Yes, yes, axe is needed. Boom, like that. And I think this might be, this might be too big. This might be a little too big, so we might have to use the axe and just say goodbye to the Twitter axe. I don't want to lose the Twitter axe. Oh, wait, there's an oak tree. Okay, so we don't need birch. We can use oak. Oh, but it's like right on the edge. I'm on the edge. Wow, it is super on the edge. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, stop. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> saved. All right, so this little one right here, we can grab. Boom. And I almost dropped that tree, by the way. Drop it down behind us. And then we're going to pick it up behind us. And then forward we go. Joink. And you can, you can keep it on you if you want. Or we can just leave it here for the next person, you know. Whatever the case may be. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's drop it down just in case we need it again down there. Now up here, you kind of got to be careful because there is um, there is hurt zone, I guess. If you get too close to like this wall, <laughs> hurt zone is where the volcano starts dealing damage to you. I'll just demonstrate real quick. It's not right here. Okay, so this little drop down right here. Link. Okay, I'm starting to take damage. Get away from it. Come over here, take damage. Over here, no damage. Okay? This little lip down here on that side right there. Okay? That's kind of what we're going to be shooting for. Alright, right there. So, you're going to have to jump from this edge, go straight out, and... I missed. I missed. <laughs> I couldn't see all that well. Anyhow. <laughs> um, head over on that side and you can get the green box. Without doing the hard stuff that I did whenever it was back in 2015. Um, <laughs> so, long story short, that is a, uh, a hot spot to do some glitches. I will take you to the next spot to do some glitches. Hello, Hoover. <laughs> Hello, Code. How goes it? It goes pretty well. I'm heading over to the uh, to the other side. If you if you could, just give me a lift over there. What do you think? I'll do it any day of the week. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I just had an idea, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's these kind of ideas that are always the best because they happen at spontaneous moments in time and when I'm least expecting them. Um, I'm gonna head over to the um, to the store and show you something. Yes, Arunok. Lower the bridge for me. Thank you, golden member. I, I am a I am a gold pass. I'm a fast pass toll bridger. Whatever the passes are. All right, here we are at Fancy Furnishings, and the reason we're here is because these have really big boxes that uh, this middle one's not going to reappear, but if I knock off that one, watch, it's going to reappear like that. So the theory 
of why these wall glitches work is the same thing as resing into the world or to, to create a part in the world. The script behind this one, I just touched it, I picked it up. So it's going to stay there until like 10 seconds or something. It has a longer count time. But if something falls off and it was not touched by uh, one of the avatars, it's almost instantaneously put back into place. Okay, it's, there's like a three second delay that says, hey, am I in the same spot where I was? No, appear back in the world. So. This part right here, when it appears, it has a specific XYZ coordinate that it has to go to. If that part, or if that space is already preoccupied with something else, it will have to appear at the closest empty spot away from center. So right about here is the center uh, Y axis, okay? I'm going to take this chair and I'm going to place it on this side. So. It's, so on this side, on the majority of this side, that should cause this part to appear over to this side and drop and fall down. Let's try it. Drop. Theory works, right? It has to appear at the closest empty relative sp space. Now this should Okay, it was a little bit further back, but that's because we're not measuring the, the Y axis at the moment. Same thing happens if uh, if it were above. Okay, so if if the the closest area of emptiness is below, I just hold it up like this, it should appear below. Ooh, and it pushed my box out of the way. Because my box can't exist in the same spot that that box existed. So it moved. Oh, 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 hold on, up. There we go, like that. Boom. So that is the theory of like why you can you can wall glitch. The same thing happens when all of a sudden your avatar exists in the same spot a, a anchored part already exists. It has to move. The physics says I've got to get to a, a space where there's no other part that exists. That's why sometimes you get stuck in between all right, that's because your part thinks that there's like a tiny gap and gets stuck in between like the floor and the baseboard, stuff like that. Okay. I hope this is, this is, I, I'm not talking crazy because this is, it's all three dimensional um, programming um, physics type stuff. I mean, it's not real physics. It, okay. It's computer physics based on real life physics, but they don't. They, they don't get, go hand in hand. This is game theory stuff. Huh. Okay, so um, if we have a part that is smaller than this and um, we place it in existence of where this thing is supposed to appear, it should appear above. So let's go grab one of these, which is shorter than that one. We have to pull this one off the shelf and it should stay existing for a little while. We don't touch the other one. Boom. Now this is shorter, so it should appear above. Oops, come on. Maybe. Boom. Theory confirmed. And if I leave that part there, this part says, hey, I'm not in my original spot. I need to keep reappearing. And it can't. Okay. So here's my next theory, my idea. The thing that came to my brain that I was like, oh my gosh. If you take one of these trees, okay, and you chop it down, we can get it to um, lock in and go down below for the maniacs. We've proven it, we've done it, it works, right? But if you take a tree and you place it in the same path where the maniacs is supposed to appear, it isn't in directly above or directly below that the maniacs is going to appear. It's going to appear to the left, to the right, to the front, or to the back, because this is much longer than this, right? The tree doesn't work. But what if we had a part that was big enough? And there's only one part inside this world that I know that I can move that I could possibly do this with. Now, it's going to put this part in here that's going to be the key to getting this to work. I don't know if that's going to be possible, 
but we're gonna go try. By this way, uh, by, by the way, this is like five minutes from now, so this could be a complete failure. No clickbait intended, but I'm going to try this. Really? At the last second? Dude, that was, that was barely six minutes. Thank goodness it's free, right? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Robloxians of every size and shape, let us do some glitching. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. We don't want to lose you right now. We want to get you down there first. Come on. Whee. Come on. Stabilize. Stabilize. I don't want to place. I want to rotate. Whoa. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, skills. Skills. All right. Let me see if I can get this all the way down there and then uh, across the water. Here we go. I can actually move this while I'm driving. It's kind of cool. All right. I don't want to be standing here when this happens. Oh, oh there we go. Come on, come on, oh, oh, come on, stabilize, stabilize. Oh, oh the car rotation is, is throwing me off. Once we get it over close to the water, I'm going to have to be very careful about being in the... In the... Oh, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, you're throwing that thing around just like it's a toy. It is a toy to me. It's fun. By the way, I have complete ownership over it just because I'm in my own private server. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Hold on, turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 please. Ooh, do it again, do it again. Turn, turn. Man, okay. So this is the part that's going to take a little bit of finesse because I cannot let go of it until it's across the way on the opposite side. So let's go rotate, rotate. Oh gosh. Am I going to be able to get it across there? Oh, please do not fall. I cannot lose sight of it. Rotate, 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 oh, 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 oh. Ooh, nice. Rotate. Okay. Rotate, rotate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, please, please, please. Stay right there. Don't move. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I'm going to laugh so hard if this actually works and I can get a maniac. All right, buddy. Come on. Let's get you over here. Come on, come on, come on. Stabilize, stabilize. If I do a, a turn, turn here, right? And then a rotate, rotate. Boom. Nice. Right over here, jump out. I'm gonna go turn, turn, rotate, rotate. Turn, oh, 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 ow, my face. Oh, geez. Please, please. Okay. Okay, that works. Um, we're going to go turn, 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 rotate like that, and then uh, let's see uh, if we do a, a rotate, rotate. Oh, oh, oh! Please, no, no! Don't smash me! 
<coughs> rotate, 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 rotate. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. We're getting over there slowly but surely. Rotate, rotate. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. It's closed. <laughs> okay. That right there should be right where we need it. Mm, let's go turn, turn, turn. Oh! Did it did it go down? Oh, it went through and disappeared. No! The void! The void took my play toy! Ah! Oh. And it's 31 minutes. I don't want to try it again, but... Um, the theory of Maniac's glitching should work if you can get it to stick like the floor would have to be here and that part would have to be like just here and down and then the uh, the point that it would appear it would be on top possibly as long as you can put the part into the ground and get it to stick to the floor that should work Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Like always, love you guys very much. All right? Every single one of you. Check out the links in the description down below. Huge shout-out to Magnum Developers for showing me um, Cam's channel and everything that you guys have done. And you, for the viewer, the person that's watching right now, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like I said. If you want, it's your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Was that was that a good Friday video? Put it in the comment. Let me know. Outro. <gasps>